Marvel's New York in Spider-Man 2 is littered with a ton of Easter eggs and things that are really fun to find. I mean, there's already plenty of them that we've been able to find from the last two games, considering that Manhattan is still an explorable area in Marvel Spider-Man 2. But now there's some updates to Manhattan, as well as plenty of things to find over on the Brooklyn and Queens side of the map. So I wanted to go over a bunch of Easter eggs here in today's video of things that you may have missed and some really cool little hints to the greater Marvel universe that exists within the Insomniac Spider-Man. Spider-Man games and one of them immediately you'll find when you're playing through the very beginning of the game as you're introduced to the side quest where you're just taking pictures of random little things around New York City you'll come across two dudes tossing a frisbee across two rooftops the frisbee itself is actually a Captain America themed frisbee which is a nice little nod to the character and also you guys may remember that Wilson Fisk has been put behind bars as of the incredible opening of the first Spider-Man game from Insomniac and then in Spider-Man Miles Morales, Fist Tower was known to have been bought out. Somebody was moving in. In Marvel Spider-Man 2, we now have confirmation of who exactly that buyer was and now who the new owner is of what used to be Fisk Tower. If you head over to that same location just by the south side of Central Park, you'll see that yes, it is now none other than the Baxter Building. Funny enough, actually, if you're still looking for those spider bots around New York City, this is gonna be the exact building that you find the future foundation spider bot, which is very fitting considering it's the Baxter Building. And then if you head over to the rooftop of the Baxter Building wearing your brand new Fantastic Four suit for Peter Parker Spider-Man, you'll see there is a four there and it's still being painted in. They're still adjusting, you know, the Fantastic Four. They haven't fully moved in just yet because I mean, the four on the top isn't complete. And when I tweeted out this Easter egg, Brian Interhar himself actually responded to me with a gift that says, that's really interesting. Brian's been on a tear teasing some other Marvel characters that could potentially show up within the Marvel Spider-Man world. So maybe this is a hint that we might see the Fantastic Four at some point. Please, Insomniac, bring back the Human Torch race missions. I had so much fun with those in Ultimate Spider-Man, and if they came back in some way, that would be awesome. And the next one, if you go all the way down into Hell's Kitchen, there's a building that actually has a sign on it that says, hit the like button on this video. But seriously, we all know that Nelson and Murdoch's law firm can actually be found within Marvel's New York, specifically, of course, in Hell's Kitchen. Now, in the first two games, it was just Nelson and Murdoch. You know, you could see that they got their own spot, they got their own place here in Hell's Kitchen. Weirdly enough, IGN found that the sign for Nelson and Murdoch was missing and there was an eviction notice. But pretty much as of when this is being recorded, the game has been updated and the Nelson and Murdoch sign is back and the eviction notice is gone. Brian Intihar actually responded to this when it was pointed out on Twitter saying, I guess they paid their rent. Some people out there are saying, you know, this might've just been a bug and they fixed it, but I uh, know, I think there's some teasing going on here and Insomniac is definitely hinting that we might get something Daredevil related. Which brings me actually to the next Easter egg. On this spot on the map, people have found that there's a weird hidden room that's just tucked away. It's got a flashing red light, a weird logo on the wall as well as that same logo above the garage door of this hidden room and there's a whole bunch of swords and guns laid out so some people are speculating this may be a hideout for the hand. On the opposite side, you can actually enter the building and it's one of the only buildings you can enter in the entirety of Marvel's New York. You see that same symbol on one of the pillars in the room and then if you look through the glass, well, clearly it's that same hidden room with the flashing red light. I know a lot of people out there are skeptical because the actual logo that's found on the wall and just on that pillar and everything like that doesn't look like the actual logo for the hand. But I feel like if Insomniac were to use the literal hand logo from Marvel Comics, then it would be extremely obvious what's going on here. They want to keep us guessing they want to keep us on our toes and hey if we go back to the actual photos that you can take around new york one of them is of these two spider cat mascots and funny enough if you were to watch through the credits you know that those are actually the voices of well nathan fillion and alan tudyk seriously do yourself a favor if you found these guys already start a new save go back find them again and just sit and listen to their conversation they talk for like a full 10 minutes it's hilarious okay and this one is a weird one but if you go again to this spot here on the map, you can actually find Peter's bike that you rode earlier in the game at that mission with Harry Osborn. And you can ride the bike as either of the Spider-Man in costume. It's actually the funniest thing ever to see Spider-Man riding a bike around New York City. Now, if you ride too far out, the bike just disappears and you can go back to that spot and find it again. But nevertheless, ride around, take some photos 
it's a good time. Over on the new side of the map for Marvel's New York that is available in Spider-Man 2, you can find this really interesting mural of none other than Norman Osborn. The mural is specifically making reference to the Devil's Breath that was in the first game. I mean, Norman Osborn has been outed to be the one responsible for that whole outbreak. And clearly this mural is painting a bad picture for the guy, but you can see that he's got some green horns. Normally, you know, if we're talking about Devil's Breath, you'd think that the horns would be red, but this feels like a very intentional choice by Insomniac to hint that Norman Osborn might at some point in the future become the Green Goblin. Although I'm going to say this much, okay? Insomniac, please don't do the Ultimates version of Green Goblin. I want my classic 616 Gobby. I just think it would be a bit redundant to have two games in a row where the main big bad is some giant monster. And you guys already know that Coney Island is chock full of Easter eggs. There are a lot of references to plenty of Marvel characters and as well some Spider-Man villains. We got the Hydro Bench, obviously a hint towards Hydro Man. We got the big Ferris wheel that's literally called Big Wheel, a reference to one of the most iconic Spider-Man villains of all time but also we got the hydra head hitters you know a nice little hint there towards hydra and while well, it's interesting that it's one of those games where you're knocking off heads the big roller coaster in coney island is called speed demon and even has the mascot of the ride looking like the actual villain from the comic books of the same name there's other things like dazzler stage a nice little hint towards a character most associated with the x-men and then there's a few more you know rocket racer and several other references that you can find littered around coney island just go swing around there take a little tour it's pretty cool and now this next one i actually got to give a shout out to fellow spidey fan vigilante spider over on twitter for finding this as far as i'm aware they're the first one to have found this easter egg if you select the halloween costume if you will for miles morales the one from spider verse specifically and then you jump up into the air and go into photo mode at the right time you can actually see under his cape is a tag that references a line from the movie it's the line that the late and great stan lee says in response to miles morales asking what do i do do if the suit doesn't fit can i return it if it doesn't fit it always fits eventually i think this is such a clever nod to of course a really great line a great moment from into the spider verse and i'm so glad that they threw that in there for a really cool suit i should add there's also a really awesome easter egg when you're swinging around new york sometimes peter or miles depending on which one you're playing with at the time will just shout out the new yorkers saying to subscribe to caboose and turn on those notifications it's wild but you know sometimes as you're swinging around new york city there's going to be random crimes to thwart and well occasionally if you're jumping in the other spider-man will be there to assist you and then when you finish the crime you can interact with the other spider-man sometimes they just tug it out but other times they'll actually do the famous pointing meme the one that we all know and love and there you have it those are a ton of easter eggs that doesn't even scratch the surface though there's still so much to go over if you'd like to see another one of these videos let me know in the comment section below and then let me know some other easter eggs that i might have missed we can throw that into a future video and with that being said if you enjoyed today's video hit that thumbs up button i've been caboose and i'll see you guys later